Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with you with the simple truth. Not starting entitling these messages because I'm back in the old pickup truck again. Got some runs to make today and some things I got to do. Might start calling these the pickup truck diaries <laughs> or monologues. But um, I had the opportunity to take a look at uh, Pastor Dow's uh, video today. And man, oh man, did it make a whole lot of sense. See, ladies and gentlemen, what we have been conditioned to, see, what our mind has become conditioned to is that most people out there are basically playing church. They go to church on a Bible study night, and they go to church on Sunday, which we know uh, by uh, what, the, what the Holy Scriptures say, what the Bible tells us, is not uh, the seventh day of which he rested. There's uh, many, many debates over that, but, you know, as I say here on The Simple Truth, the Bible is a simple book. All you have to do is read it and comprehend it, and once you read it and comprehend it, it just makes sense. What day is the first day of the week? What day is the seventh day of the week? Then there, there's countless debates that, oh, the cal calendar's changed and this and that and so forth and the other thing. But, but just practice some, some wisdom and just understand that by – just look at it just this simply. Here, here's something I want to share with you. With you right there, you right there that want to debate – and say that, oh, so many different changes in the calendar and different things. Okay, I'm going to make it real simple. Look at your calendar. Take your calendar out and look at it as it stands right now. In the day and age that we live in today. And what day is the first day of the week? And then what day is the second day of the week? What day is the third day of the week? And so forth. And then once you get to the seventh day, as the scriptures say, and on the seventh day, he rested from all of his work. And just let that be what the Sabbath actually is. Now, Pastor uh, Dow, I, I heard you m mention people uh, uh, picking and choosing what they want to believe. Uh, I may not have quoted you p p uh, exactly, but, you know, picking and choosing kind of like candy. You know, what candy tastes good. You know, so isn't it also funny that they call the movement out there uh, for these uh, uh, pastors and these preachers and apostles the charismatic movement? Because, see, what they do is they tickle the ear. They stimulate the mind, and they put on a grand show. And once they put on that grand show, then through the popularity contest of Making your own decision, many people choose accordingly. Well, it's not about choosing the person because they have the largest congregation or they are all about what the Bible says. It's all about what the Most High requires of you, and that is to follow his laws, statutes, and his commandments, and to be baptized in Jesus' name, and to receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit. This is so simple. Why do people make such a big deal of it? Well, it's because they have been conditioned by what the system tells them they should do. When I say system, I want to be very clear when I say system. When I say system, I am talking about the religious system. See, we are, get so caught up in every little detail of every little thing that someone says that we miss the whole point. And the whole point is love the Lord, love God with all of your heart and your soul, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. And then if you think about it, the first five commandments rest in loving God and keeping him first, and the second set of commandments, the second five sets, Talk about loving your neighbor. The question is, will you continue to do what you've been taught to do or what you've been conditioned to do just because that's simple to do? Or will you practice, as Pastor always says, some independent thinking and have an ear to hear when truth comes your way? 
Well, that is this episode, this episode an installment of the simple truth, i.e., the uh, pickup truck diaries or monologue. And I look forward to talking to you again real soon. But this has been the simple truth. And remember, the simple things are oftentimes the most difficult, but they are also the most difficult to do.